what's up? Simply Sasha Foam 4 here, and I'm back with a brand new video for you guys. And I'm super excited because this is a lipstick video. And if you know me, I love lip videos, lippies, lipsticks. I just love lip products in general. They're like awesome. Yeah. But um, yeah, this is going to be a first impression slash swatches and try on video for you guys. So I hope you guys are super excited. It's the new Nick Matte lipsticks, and I'm super excited. But before we get into it, make sure that you guys subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that notification button next to it so you guys can be notified when I upload a new video. And also thumbs up this video. Don't forget that. Leave comments down below of what lipstick was your favorite. What color did you like the best? And which color did you like the best on me? Just, just so I know. You know. Yeah. But we're going to go ahead and get started. That's why I don't have any lip... You know, um, lippies on my lips right now, so ignore that. We about to get started, and it's about to be all lipified, if that's a word. So, yeah, let's get into it. <laughs> Alright guys, so, we're going to get started. I wanted to read the description for you guys, what NYX claims this product does is what it's all about. So, on the website, it says, raise your squad goals with super clickety matte lipstick. Our Beyond Creamy Bestie comes in 12 richly pigmented shades that leave lips with a satin matte finish. Featuring a soft, a super soft teardrop shaped bullet that hugs your lips. This lippy also makes it easy for you to precisely line that pretty pout. Need a little bit more lip color? Give that clicker a push to dispense the perfect amount of lipstick. So basically that's it. So there's 12 shades. It's a satin matte, satin matte finish. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started. I have six of the shades, so not too shabby. I didn't know they had 12, but I have six of the shades here that I'm going to go ahead and swatch and try on my lips for you guys so you can guys can see how it looks on my skin tone and also you know get my first impressions of it so I'm gonna bring y'all in a little bit closer let's get a little bit you know close and personal guys all right okay we're gonna start off with some lighter colors I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it up front for you guys and do a lip and then I'm just gonna go ahead and do clips for the rest of the video if that makes sense if not you'll see in a second we're gonna go ahead and do this like the packaging looks like a mauvey brownish color uh let's see this is in the shade conform hmm and there is the teardrop i have close-ups of this this is the teardrop little shape they were talking about and oh well, see i already just want to automatically twist up i'm gonna go ahead and swatch it there's the clicking noise guys Oh, okay. Yeah, it's coming up. I feel like I'm getting an arm, like a finger workout here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it. Ooh, that was kind of hard. Okay, okay. So here's the color swatched on my hand. It felt really creamy swatching it. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it on my lips. Here we go. First off, first impressions, it feels like a, I feel like it feels like a clay going on my lips, if that makes sense. Like, I kind of don't feel it. It's very creamy and smooth. Okay, because I'm like, I feel like I can't see the color, but I guess this is the color. Okay, so this is the color conform. Hmm, I really like it. It's pretty. I feel like I can get away with wearing it on its own. It could probably use a lip liner though, of course, but I like it and it feels really good. Not too drying. Doesn't feel drying. Feels nice. Not sticky, of course, because it's a matte, but it's a satin matte. It feels really smooth. Like, it feels like butter. It feels like butter on my lips. Mm. Like I could just do that all day. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. And there goes the top. But um yeah, so that is conform. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just I swatched them all. I'm gonna go ahead and just do lip lippies on my lips because that was my first impression, and I'm pretty sure all of them will feel like that. If not, I will of course tell you guys during this video. But let's go ahead and get into the uh, swatches and the lippies and all that good stuff. Okay.
you guys so we are at the end of the video um final thoughts I love first of all I love this this is giving me fall vibes like mm. I love this lip color thumbs up if you like this lip color too this is dangerous oh girl you looking dangerous I like this color the red was pretty is this the red I'm talking about the red was pretty too and I also like I think this like bright purple chain reaction I really like this and I like this mauvey color which I mean you can't go wrong with the mauvey color um, I'm not gonna lie this all of them have like a little bit of like like a powdery kind of texture I feel like when I'm putting it on like especially like these bright like this blue I believe and this like watermelon looking color it was kind of like chalky i feel like putting it on like it i had to put some work in to put it on it just wasn't it wasn't like easy you know the rest of these were a little bit easier but they still took a little bit of like work except for this one this one went on like a dream dangerous mm. Mm. love this color but like they were they were a little like chalky kind of powdery kind of thing like they don't feel drying but you could tell it's like like you would want to like scrub your lips like fully your lips before you put these on and like um, put some moisturizer. I didn't put any moisturizer on my lips, like a um, lip balm or anything, just to see, you know, if they were creamy and not drying. But um, they don't feel drying on when you put them on at all. It's just they're a little like, I guess, patchy. And I don't like they're pigmented. Like you can actually, you can like really see it. But they're like just a little like patchy. Like I have really, I have a lot of lines on my hands, and they kind of just like fall into the lines. It's just not like it's like a, you know, like you might need like a base. And then you put this on you know what I mean like a lip primer I don't know that's how I feel um I really enjoyed some of them but some of them were like a little proudy they do retail for $8.99 at Ulta um they're nine dollars on the website so I mean if you would like to get them hey or try them out or have them in a collect collection because you know you love NYX and you're like a makeup junkie I mean they're pretty good but like some of the colors I would swatch them because yeah they're they were a little difficult to work with like I don't know like this color I probably will not wear it doesn't really go with my skin tone unless I don't know how it looks with like a brown pencil I'll let you know I'm gonna play with it because I bought it but yeah I don't know we'll see but the rest of them you know I could wear especially with a lip liner especially it'll look great either way but yeah I really love this one just like fall vibes all the way that this is number one but yeah that's it guys that's it for my video let me know which lipstick did you did you like on me or which look you think would look better on you let me know which lip color was your favorite down below in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell and thumbs up this video. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.